So, breaking news. I guess it's breaking news for y'all, not for me. We called it last month and a half ago already. So, the district attorney's office of Florida or determined should they give death penalty to Albie Shore, Sean Gaffright? Should they give it to Isaiah Chance or Jacksonville backdoor queen Alicia Andrews? I ain't been covering this case no more. I ain't been covering the folio topic no more. Too much people just making up their own breaking news. And to keep it real with you, ABC just put this out there and, and mixtapes got it, say cheese in them. But to be real with you, this ain't breaking news. I could raise my hand. I told y'all what the statutes are in Florida. This is premeditated murder, gang. This ain't like you got 38 hot, you in the club on that good Hennessy, folks in them to step on your shoes, disrespect you in front of your lady, and you crashed out. Believe it or not, the state give niggas who crash out like that a better chance versus the niggas Who's doing all this type of planning? You seen the vehicle that left Jacksonville, stopped in Orlando, went to Tampa. They got all the drop on that. I told you. Go to my videos. But forget about who told you so. Let's break it down. I don't think she's going to go all the way with it and give Alicia Andrews the death penalty. And by the way, how everybody is fast forwarding with the case, you got Isaiah agreed. Let's hurry up with the case. I'll be sure. Let's hurry up with the case. Old girl, too, because I think the more you wait, it's like a, a domino factor that just keep hurting y'all even more, bro. Most likely, I, I believe they submitted, bro. They know they got caught. They know it's all written in writings. Even if they plead guilty or innocent, it don't matter. They can say we innocent, your honor. But you're hurrying up with the case because you just want to deal with the consequences right then and there. And I think... It was dumb for them to hurry up with the case, my personal opinion. Who the hell fast forward a case like that? That's an easy shut and done case, bro. What you do is long gated it because you don't know what could happen left or right as far as who's going to tell first. Because even if y'all going to soldier it out and thug it out, it is, it's not going to look good. And even if you did tell rap boy, it ain't going to thug out. It ain't going to work out for you, bro. Y'all did this hit right there by... South Florida University, bro. I, I mean, come on, bro. Then y'all did it where Taurus is at at that hotel, bro. The home to hotel right there with all the other hotels such as the Holiday Inn right there with been walking steps. And, and what the third part that made it bad, they had three or four different murders that happened that same week. So it was back to back to back. No Drake. You had it in New Tampa. You had it in a... Um, Damn, Bruce B. Downs, and it was also in Flockenburg. I forgot where, but they had back-to-back -back murders that they couldn't even solve yet. And here come you dudes, like the Three Stooges, and it was more people involved. We still can't get the other Murphy cousin. Folks been missing for how long now? They got all type of agencies after, bro, from ATF to all of them, bro. Different sheriff departments and police departments, different count. They made it a Florida-wide thing, bro. They said Cuzzo dipped to the A. He dipped to Texas. I don't know where he dipped at. I don't work for 12. But the fact that they can't catch him yet, we got to think about the other route, bro. Is folks dead? I'm not saying I wish none of that. I'm, he ain't did nothing to me. This is between dumb and Fulio, but I'm just being real. I don't want to put that on the man. But is he dead or not? Because folks been gone for a good minute, bro. Now, let's get back to Alicia Andrews, the backdoor queen. You know she's pregnant. Chances are it's Isaiah's chance, baby. No pun intended to that. We ain't trying to go deep on that. Is that the reason why they hurrying up with the case? I don't know. This ain't Tupac situation with the Panthers. He was born in prison or whatever. Alleged, I think he was, right? When, when his mom or whatever. Rest in peace to him and his mom. But let's keep fast forwarding with this. I'm trying to let you know the state and what they're going through. People are trying to get promoted to assistant attorney generals, attorney, the top attorney general. People are trying to be assistant governors of Florida as well. Mayors trying to run in for their district uh, to be the representative of that district area. Niggas trying to go for Congress, bro. This type of case help you with everything. You got the constituents going brazy like, man, hey, y'all not protecting us, bro. Y'all not looking out for us. What, what y'all going to do with this? So they got to have the death penalty on the table. That's what the statute asked for. Now, 
Are they really going to give it to them? I don't think so. I think what you're going to get is life sentences, bro. You feel me? You heard what the lady said. She said, even if you just did it on the phone, they got that. They been had 1020 life in Florida. You feel me? That's our rules. When I was in middle school, they came out with it. Jeb Bush, it was 1020 life. But what happens now is back in the time when you was just a person on the phone orchestrating the situation or whatever, you might get half that or lower than that. Now, what they did is, bro, you get in the same sentence as the nigga who pulled the trigger. Ain't no to be continued. And that's the thing I've been telling you, bro. I, I'm going to be honest, bro. The best, I don't think they could snitch in a case like this. It's so vivid and open for the state. Like, we've seen everything and how it played. What could you offer us? The only thing they could do is solve all the murders right now, gang. Like, TV don't lie when they show y'all that part. Unfortunately, I come from a neighborhood that I love. It's solid, but you had a few of them who told about other murders. The whole neighborhood got locked up, bro. It's ghost town over there now, bro, Bryan County. Like, so what I'm trying to tell you is all them Jacksonville murders that's unsolved. They say they got steps of where a dude and them did something in Tampa prior to the Fulio situation and in Jacksonville. Bro, you, if you get them folks some cold cases, bro, you'll probably do 20 years only, maybe 15 if them cases pile up and dudes be thinking of that, bro, and it might not happen now. You might see them go through with the case and, and they remain G, they keep it solid and everybody get the round of applause. Man, they some soldiers. Okay, one year goes from two years, two years go from seven years. You and that bit tired, bro. You want to bail out, bro, and you can't. That to be continued is gone. You you start thinking of things and you under pressure, gang. So what happens? You got that life sentence. You only seven years in. Some of these dudes be only three years, two years in that life sentence. And they hit home and they, I need to see the state attorney, bro. And they get to talking, bro. First, they go see the warden. Warden, I got information on a couple of murders. And the warden got to do his just dues and get the state attorney, hey, one of these inmates say they got information. They have to by law, bro. So these dudes, they know they're on a to be continued card where they can make it to be continued. I got this information. I was in this drill. I know Cray and them. They was in a drill two years ago. I could give it. Like they can, let's just be real, bro. If you from the hood, bro, since we was youngins, bro, we know allegedly who did what, when, and where. We knew about it before anybody in the law, before the news team, everything, bro. That's one thing. Niggas are very vocal and braggadocious when they murk something. Uh, allegedly, we ain't forgot nothing like that. Niggas be murking something and very braggadocious. And when you young like we were, it's not that like we didn't know what a murder was or, or, or anything. We seen them bodies dropping. But it was more of, it was normalized to us as far as what we seen. So, like, like, like we know all them folks that's been arrested or whatever, they, they got information on other murders, just like all of us. And if you're a civilian or not, you all, we, we all got that, bro. We all thugs, trappers, don't matter who you have information on something that you just mind your business to until you can do a get out of jail free card. Most likely dudes are going to do that, but the state ain't playing with them folks, bro. Like I'm just letting y'all know that, bro. Like this, see, I seen a lot of people in the comment section talking about, man, for Fulio kill people. How come it? Number one, you a rap boy. How you know who killed who, when, what, or where? You just listen to music, gangster. I'm not saying who did when or what, but let's just be real. Now, let's fast forward. It's not really about Fulio. I keep telling you that. You had all the recipes of a disaster and a murder. Had you just killed Fulio, you feel me, down the street where no man and where nobody lives at, a trailer park or something, bit? The, the news wouldn't even cover that. Maybe the hip-hop journalists and, and us on YouTube, but it wouldn't have been international like that, gang. And Fulio is a popping artist, but let's just be real. Because you killed him right there by South Florida University in a tourist area, Bush Garden down the street. Bro, Bush Garden, cuz. Like, that's like murking somebody on Disney World. That alone is going to be international news. Then Fulio got a name too. Then allegedly the people involved are associated. The people who have a name, don't let that go over your head. Nigga, this is a, this is a winning case, bro, for people to just get all their careers started off on a case like this, bro. Man, T.K. Waters and, and, and Tampa Sheriff, I mean, a police chief as well, bro, Bear Call, they, they're they making career cases out of this right here. I know their promotion's going to go up, money going to go up, salary and everything. Bottle wife, a new ring. Come on, man. Come on, bro.
This case was too much to pass up on. You can't give no freebies. Like I told you, the only way you see a freebie, if, if cousin them got some other real cases that supersedes what Fulio's situation happened, and I don't really see that, bro. This the money case. When it's a money case, we don't, we don't, we don't need your information. We... We got everything. You niggas was the three stooges. You didn't do it the right way. You didn't roll. The, you was just wide open with it, bro. Niggas was so thirsty for it. And then they they knew that you been trying to get this nigga. And y'all was the one who almost blew his foot off. Then this nigga, Sean Gaffright, got all them weapons, educational purpose, all through his crib and household like that. Like, Jesus. Jesus, bro. I don't even be covering this case no more. For what? Y'all got 100,000 YouTubers and people in the streets and on Instagram all making up their own update. And somebody told me, you do a lot of videos. It's been like two months and a half, and I probably got only three or two videos. But your favorite YouTuber do it every day, and you say nothing. Even though I was getting real information. <laughs> I'm actually tied in. What you mean? I I actually went to the scene. It's on my platform, bro. That all the news outlets used. It went viral. And I never showed off about viral. And niggas, we, we've been here before, bro. But they don't know how to act like what it feels like to be known. So they got to come up with fake stories every day. And you love that. But look, man, we over here just cooling, bro. I'm going to stick to my sports, man. Only reason I'm covering this, I'm a Florida baby. Like I told you, I'm tied in with both sides. And it's really four sides. I ain't going to get into that. That's too much info. But you go check your favorite YouTuber for breaking news updates. <laughs> They gonna tell you this some breaking news. I got two or three videos months ago saying, bro, they was gonna try to charge them dudes for for uh, um death penalties, bro. Like, what? Why people didn't know this, bro? Cause they're not from Florida. They ain't from the city. <laughs> you feel me? But you gonna listen to these niggas all doing Alaska and stuff? Oh, that cause is real. He in Alaska. He know what's going on. <laughs> Love your family, love your kids, stay blessed, man. Shout out to my Florida people, bro. I thought this media stuff was like, it counts more when you from the city. Your news, you know, it's more real, but it be dudes, man. Y'all have fun with out of town is telling you updates on things that ain't even really updates. You love that type of news, right? But when dudes like me giving real updates, and friends, you doing too much, bro. Just say you don't like me, so you saying I'm doing too much. I ought to respect you more if you stood on it, but you just a hater, bro. So I'm showing you I don't need to cover this, bro. We're going to talk about Deion Sanders in football and, and stick to our little drips over here, bro. Don't mind me. Your favorite YouTuber is... Master Splinter Rata, they love all these fake shape type dudes out here telling me a hoop a lot. And then when I come up with an update, it be these weird niggas who fan the fuck out for these weird other clout content creator. Niggas don't even leave their house and they trying to tell me these little, little old and young niggas is, is some type of what? Like they real? <laughs> Sam Cassell, they could tell.